Now, on the air with Larry Merton here, Larry, I was going to also ask you the Lucas Matisse Humberto Soto fight on the Victor Ortiz Jose Cito Lopez undercard. Exciting fight. Uh, Lucas Matisse, the Argentinian banger, scored a fifth round stoppage. Uh, what were your thoughts on the fight and uh, what, what are your thoughts on him as a prospect, a contender at 140 pounds? No, I like Matisse. Um, uh, when, 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 you, when your only two losses are, are to, um, by split decision, uh, the fighters in their hometown who you, who you have knocked down, that's not like losses mm-hmm. in anybody's mind. He's always made good fights, and, um, I want to see him fight anybody. Uh, um, so, uh, you got two guys who came out of this, uh, event, um, who do you want to see again? Uh, Soto just, you know, I just think Soto might have been a, gone a, a division too high for himself. Right. Against the guy, to, against the guy to, a little too, uh, tough, just as tough as him. Um... I mean, when we first met Soto, he was fighting as a featherweight. Yeah. And, um, and uh, not the kind of uh, power that carries up, up, up the scale. And, um, uh, and things he just beat him in the body. And um, that was, I don't know what there's not to like about him because he's a, a good tough, crowd-pleasing fighter who always makes good fights. I want to see him fight anybody in, in his weight class. And, you know, I was going to ask, um, Matisse, he had the fights with Devin Alexander, Zab Judah. He, he knocked both guys down, and he lost decisions that could have gone either way. Just what were your thoughts on those fights and just, you know, like... I, I, I you know... Uh, I thought he won the Judah fight, mm. um, and I think I thought he won the Alexander fight as well, but I don't recall. It was a close, it was a close fight. But the point is, he's a, you know, he's a, you know, a guy who is a, a tough, tough out, and and. Uh, um, and, and, and I, I want to see him fight anybody in that division. I don't know who ranks above him except Bradley. Uh, mm-hmm. Maybe him and Bradley might make a good fight if uh, Bradley doesn't uh, fight Pacquiao. Well, I could see him fighting, uh, you know, anybody, anybody in that uh, division. Thank you. And even um, they're going to, the Mir Khan is fighting Danny Garcia July 14th. Um, I don't know if it's going to be Khan's last fight at 140, but what do you think about him against the winner of that fight? Okay. Uh, you know, I think he can fight. He's a guy. Um, I do think Khan is going to move up, but, but it doesn't mean that he wouldn't fight if he moves up or some kind of catch weight and if that's the only guy out there um that's that's a natural fight for him at home um I, I, I don't I, I don't know I, I don't know what their plans are okay uh, um I don't know Bradley I mean you know I don't know which you know Bradley's a top rank I don't know what his what his commitments are there. Uh, Khan has been with Golden Boy. Uh, Matese is with Golden Boy. Matina has been with Golden Boy. I don't know what kind of commitments they have. Okay. Um, Interestingly, uh, Matese and Madonna fought as... Amateurs, yeah. uh, Yeah, and they were on like the same amateur teams in Mm. Argentina. There's a good good story about them uh, having some kind of a box off at the mm-hmm. or something like that. Gotcha. Great. Um, 
Great, man. Well, I mean, thanks a lot for your time, Larry, man. I always appreciate it. Okay, good. Talk to you soon, buddy. Bye. Bye.